Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Clark Arts Talk. Um, I'm Kendra Larson. I'm the Archer Gallery Director. And um, we are lucky today to have um, artist Yaimel Lopez Saldivar um, as our guest. He is a Cuban artist based in Vancouver, Canada, where um, where I'm sorry. Do you what what pronouns do you prefer? Um, he is him. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. <laughs> um, uh, so he is a Cuban artist based in Vancouver, Canada, where they where he works as an artist, graphic designer, and educator. With more than ten years' experience, um, his work has been exhibited in the United States, Canada, New Zealand, and Cuba as part of collective and individual ex exhibits. Yaimel yeah, has also collaborated with several cultural organizations and has had work appear in different magazines and books. Yaimel, yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Um, and so this is being recorded, everyone, just so you know. Um, and I will just let you take it away, Yaimel. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Kendra. So I, I'm going to show um, to share my screen. Can I share my screen so I can, yeah, so you guys can see that I have a PDF so people can see it. Okay. Um, this is me. This is, um, I prepared this small presentation so you guys know uh, where I come from and what my background is or how and how I get into the, the graphic art. And uh, so basically, this is me. I was born in 1983. Um, I was born in Lauton. Lauton is a very important and um, also popular neighborhood in Cuba, in Havana. Many people know about Lauton. So I, this image in, in, the, in the top left is basically the, the hospital where I was born. Um, I, I put this picture because I used to walk uh, by that place a lot with my mom. So I have many memories, many, many memories for, from that place. I really like um, walk around there, um, you know, enjoy seeing people. Around. So I don't know why, but I have that image in my mind. But when I was six, I moved with my parents to the Calabasad. Calabasad is a very small town in the uh, outskirts of the city. So I went from being someone who was living in the center of the city to someone who was living in the border of the city. So what you see in the bottom um, uh, right corner of the screen is the church of that town of Calabasad. And I put the church because we, uh, my friends, I mean, me and my friends used to play around all the time. All the, uh, as you know, in those small uh, town, the church is the center of the, of the life. So we used to uh, play a lot of the, uh, around the church, play baseball, softball, or, you know, soccer, how you guys call it here in North America. Um, I have this very important history. Um, one day I was playing with my friends and someone was painting, doing painting uh, in front of the church. So for the first time I had this, you know, like a fight inside. Or, um, so I was asking myself, or should I go to play with my friends or should I stay here? Um, look at this guy painting. So I remember he said to me, uh, you don't have to go with your friends. You can stay here and look at me painting. And indeed, I stayed there. I remained there watching that guy painting. But after half an hour, 30 minutes, I decided, okay, I have to go with my friends, you know. <laughs> but that was the first time that I really have this, okay, this is something that I would love to do, that I feel really connected to. So, yeah. <laughs> so time passed. Uh, one day I decided to go to uh, design a school. So what you see here is the Instituto Superior de Diseño in Cuba, which um, is the only one we have in Cuba. Uh, this is the building, it's a very historical building. Um, it's an important place because have you seen the, in the bottom of the image when I uh, went to study design, basically the, my education was the same they used to have back in 1984 when the school was created. So I spent basically my first, second and first year working with my hands. I, it wasn't until the, my fourth grade when I started using computers to do some very you know, uh, small animation projects. But I spent a lot of time drawing, painting, and trying to create things with my hands. 
and that's really helped me to understand you know the, the three dimension of the of the image as a graphic designer so uh, i put this um this um image for me to present well because what i really um i believe what i really what really makes me the the artist that i today um today is the collaboration that i have with my friends so since i was in the school we used to go after classes to painting to do murals all over the place um in the top um left of the, um, of the screen you see me i was very skinny very young <laughs> um with my friends, we used to buy like an oil-based paint and mix it with water-based paint and create this weird mix and go out paint things, whatever. Uh, also collaborate with each other in exhibitions, try to create something, you no know, projects together. It was very active for me in my life and really, really uh, helped me to develop my skills in, you know, as a collaborator with other artists. That's very important. So what you see here, uh, uh, to poster, the first poster was uh, the, the poster for my first solo exhibition. The name of the exhibition was Bonito Color, Beautiful Color. And the funny story about the, the name is one day I was with my friend on the, at the beach and one of them said, man, look at that, you have nice color. I said, oh, that's very great <laughs> for my exhibition, for my upcoming solo exhibition. So uh, two weeks after I was um, starting my, doing my first solo exhibition, um, the poster was, and uh, the exhibition was called Bonito Color of Things to My Friend. And that's the poster. <laughs> the second one is, um, I mean, Cuba we have this very important event that at the end of the year, all the designers come together, the graphic designers mostly come together to decide which is the best poster of the year. So the event is called, uh, I mean, the, the, the club, it's not a club, but we call it uh, poster, Clubs friends. Um, so basically, that was the poster for the event in 2018. I had the pressure to be invited to create the poster for this event. So I decided, to, I decided to okay, let's let's create something. You know, came up with this idea of the discovery and the new, uh, you know, the score, making like a big. Um, I mean, notice a big event about the new things, which is it's not new, right? The the, the club, the poster club frame is not new, but I tried to I, my idea was try to make it like a big event, which is it is for me, and for the other artists. These two poster, I mean, the first one is um, poster uh, in collaboration with other artist friend, which invite me to work with him to do this uh, advertising, um, or, you know, promotional poster. For, a, for an exhibition was a very important exhibition because for the first time graphic, um, the graphic designers and tattoo artists were coming together fighting you know uh, to decide which uh, group was uh, the most uh, I would say interesting it was an exhibit was an excuse to make um, a group of, a group exhibition between tattoo artists and graphic designers so we decided to come up with this idea uh, it was quite fun and interesting we play with this uh, this classic guy tattoo artist we it's very traditional you know do his tattoo with uh, this tool that is used uh, in New Zealand in other places to create tattoos so yeah and the second one is um is basically uh, a poster I would say illustration that I made for the Spanish embassy in Cuba um they used to I don't know if they keep doing it but uh, they used to invite designers and artists in general to create um, not, not a magazine, but a calendar every, every at the end of a year. So each one of us create like an illustration representing each month. So yeah, and this this particular, um, that was the, I think it was from 2017, this one. Um, they asked me to create something based on feeling, the feeling, feeling is a Cuban, music agenda that has many influence from the jazz music, bolero. So yeah, as you see, it's a guitar and everything, and many you know, romantic things are happening. So feeling as a, as a music gender have, is, is about that. It's about the feeling, the sadness, the depression, but at the same time, the, the romanticism of being involved in the relationship, they, they break their heartbreak. And so that was basically the illustration about, this is a screen printing too. 
So something happened in 2019, so we're gonna get some water. In 2019, I didn't expect, but you know, life is, is quite you know, interesting. So I get to Vancouver, Canada, uh, full of expectation, uh, full of question, <laughs> of course, uh, with a big cultural shock. I'm still dealing with that cultural shock, but you know, I own it. <laughs> so Vancouver, Canada, mm, such a different country than Havana, different culture, different people. People actually from many places, so that's amazing. And I have the opportunity to connect with the Vancouver Latin American Cultural Center, uh, also with the Vancouver uh, Film Festival. Uh, thanks to that, thanks to that um, I would say connection, communication that I had early on with, with those organization, I have the pleasure to create these two posters the first poster is for uh, the Latin American Film Festival, it was in 2020. Um, it's funny what happened with this. I, I, when the director asked me to do the poster, create a poster, I decided I, I wasn't, you know, quite uh, sure what to do. So he went through my Instagram profile and he saw something that I was uh, post that I that I that I post was like a collage of my face. It was pretty basic idea, nothing too complicated. So as he saw it, he said, okay, I want something like this, but try to put Latin American in that same concept uh, here in Vancouver. So, okay. So the idea was to basically create this collage. The, I mean, the, the main, I would say, external is my face, but it's not, it's basically many, you know, many part of uh, human faces that represent Latin American culture. Uh, also the 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 four, I mean the tree, the flowers and the sun, you know, the this long hair representing like indigenous people in Central America, Bolivia, Colombia, those places, you know, Salvador. Yeah. So in the was I mean was big success in, in Vancouver. I mean I I I believe that not many um uh, posters were you know in this direction. So when the poster came up. Uh, people really enjoy and uh, was quite controversial, but it was what we're looking for. In the 2021, they asked me to do uh, again the poster for the festival. Um, I was okay, let's how can I approach the same concept of film festival but try to do something different? So this time I decided to took this very iconic image of Vancouver um, and do a collage, but the collage was was really made. I mean, this is made by hand. I didn't use computer at all. I took so many photos of the same, I would say, view um, and to create them in my own way. I put, move some uh, specific part to other areas and I paint on top of that. And I, the idea came up very, I would say, interesting to me. Um, they like it. So, but I want to point that it was, was made by hand, the second one. So in, 20, in 2020, one day I was cleaning uh, my house and I found this shoebox full of photos of my wife travels around the world. Because my wife was living um, a few years in Africa. So when I found this, I tried to dig into that uh, shoebox and I realized how important memories are because I believe that the way she is right now is it has to do a lot with what happened in Africa, the way she lived in Africa, how she understand life. She was very, she was like 20 when she was to live there. Um, and I really, after talking to her, I realized, oh, this is very important. So I started working on memories. It was basically the, the turning point for, for my work when I started working on memories. So something happened. After posting some of my work on, on Instagram, um, I was invited by the curator, one of the curator of the, was working that time with the Vancouver, Latin America, uh, Vancouver um, Art Gallery to be part of this exhibition, the orientation and echo was um, very important exhibition. Uh, this is like event uh, the gallery has, I think, I believe like every three years, they invite local, not local, not just local artists, but artists, you know, in the in, B, in the BC, they're from BC in, in general, to do this big 
exhibition. So I had the pleasure to be part. They gave me an um, entire room for me. And I was also, you know, my world was living with this beautiful tree from other uh, artists. Um, it was amazing. It was very, I was shocked. I'm still shocked with uh, this opportunity very, very early, very early in my, my you know, my um, uh, life in Vancouver. I have the chance to put my work in a museum and, and connect with audience was, was amazing. So here are two of the work that I were, were part of the exhibition. But that time I was working was exploring with watercolor, but um, also with pencil. What you see here is, it's a mix between watercolor pencils, um, also this kind of pencil that you put water on it and they can, you know, you can move the, the uh, we say the pigment has a watercolor. So it was a mix, it's a mixed media actually. So what you see here is, um, is basically uh, one of those. Um, my, my process is, uh, even though they look like a one image, is a collage, mental collage. I use many photos from my wife's experience and uh, create a final piece. Um, so, yeah. So, um, one day, um, this person, this, her name of this uh, lady is Crystal Parabu. She's um, a Canadian. Uh, she was born in Toronto, but she's based in Vancouver. And she's curator. Uh, and she invited me to be part of this uh, group exhibition in the in Simo Gallery in North Vancouver. And um, it was a very important exhibition to me because I had a chance to connect with other Latin American, Caribbean artists that which I didn't know. There was a community of those here in Vancouver. So it was the first time I really connected with uh, Caribbean artists here in, in the city with the same background as, as me as I am. I'm connected with, with, different, with the same I would say point of view about image and color or composition. It's very interesting how you know that you look at your look at your geographic, um, you know, place really shape the way you see colors. Um, it's very very interesting. So, was that was the first time, as I said before, I connect with this group of artists and have this opportunity to show some of my screen printing for the first time here in Vancouver. Um, thanks to this uh, lady, I also was invited to create these planters in Hoga Hali. Hogan's Hali is a very important historical place here in Vancouver. Um, I was invited to create these planters to commemorate the life of people who used to live in that area. And they try to, to, you know, to bring those memories back and try to, they are really pushing uh, hard in order to make that uh, important place again in the city. So following my, screen printing exploration, I create this, uh, I decided to create a book. I, I never I never had a chance to make an artist book before. So I decided, okay, I, wanna, I want to create this uh, artist book following my uh, screen printing, uh, you know, uh, work, as I said before. So the inspiration for this book came from uh, a very old, uh, photo albums that my mother-in-law gave it to me from indigenous people in Colombia during the 40s. Someone gave it to her and she gave it to me. So when I saw that, that very old album, I basically, my mind was out. It was it's in very unique, um, I would say um, weird object because some art photos took it by a nun in the 40s in Colombia. She was working as a nurse. And those photos are in black, black and white. Some of them are very, you know, damaged because of the time, of course. But it's it's beautiful, beautiful objects. So I decided to come up um, based on that those photos, create my own uh, artist book. Uh, it was twenty image screen printing. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the process. So these two screen printings are now in the books. Are, Beside the book is part of my the work that I was um, doing two years ago. Um, is the same. It's, it's based on my memories and also my my wife's memories in Africa. So yeah. In the next uh, yeah, this is then I want to uh, decide to come up with this as, uh, slide. Is basically what the process I used to do a screen printing or that I used I used to I doing a screen printing in a different way right now, but. 
uh, two years ago, I was using drawing fluid on a screen feeder, which is basically two, I would say, liquids or two, you know, uh, products that allow you to draw on the screen. Uh, since, since I am very, I believe, I like to draw and I always feel, see the image through drawing, even though I do screen painting sometimes, I paint too, but I, for me it's about drawing. Um, be able to draw on the screen by using drawing fluid on the screen feeder is a big discovery. So I, I, I decided uh, to, to do the book using this, um, this way of screen printing. Uh, illustration, yeah. Um, okay, since I was in Cuba in the design school, I always feel passionate about illustration. I'm still connected to illustration. I believe that I'm an illustrator, even though my work has illustrated have been slowing down a little bit, but every time I have the chance to illustrate, I, I jump into illustration. So this image was in 2019, my first year in Bankwe. Um, I, I just, um, I was invited to be part of the, um, in the middle, in the context of Milan Festival, they have this small event called illustration. I don't remember exactly what's the name, but it's, it's basically a market for illustrators. So you, you come up with illustrations and you sell it in a very uh, reasonable place for people. So, yeah. Uh, and these three illustrations are uh, part of the a bigger groups. It's called for the for the Battle of Santiago. Battle of Santiago is a, is a band based in Toronto. And I have a pretty good relationship with them because um, many of the integrants are Cubans, but also the director, Mike, is very, I would say he's Canadian, but the guy is, is like Cuban. He's very, you know, he has been Cuban many times on the way he, he talk, um, understand graphic is very Cuban. So he gave me the opportunity to do whatever I want, which is very, it's very unusual, right? Someone comes say, you do whatever you want. I won't, I won't give you any, any advice, anything you create, whatever you want. I will be happy with that. So I said, okay, this is amazing. So I create this three uh, illustration for um, some of the, the songs that the band has. So yeah, it was for social media, I guess. They use it for social media to do some advertising in other platform for the band. So, so after that, my comment again said, you know why, man, we would love to, to do more work with you, keep working with you. So he said, we have this group of songs that are talking about Afro-Cuban saints. So I want you to create something for each of the song. So this is the, the illustration that I create for them. Each one of them, which one of these illustration represent one of the big saints in Afro-Cuban religions. So yeah, we have Chango, Yemaya, uh, you know, Ogun, Oya, you know, different saints that with different elements of the nature, um, the combination with human activity. So, yeah. um, and finally, animation. I don't see myself as an animator, but last year I started working with exporting with animation and try to create my, my body of work in, in, in animation. So after work, uh, working a lot and experimenting and trying to, to see what came up, um, I create this, uh, my very first short film called The Unique, Unique, Unique Common Story is basically my, um, my last days in Cuba uh, until my very first days in Vancouver. So it's, um, I mean, it's, it's a way through those moments in a very, I would say, experimental way because I didn't feel attached to any particular technique. So I went from draw to painting in different materials, techniques, uh, um, sometimes acrylic, sometimes uh, pastel. So yeah. And um, finally, I have this very, uh, I would say, <laughs> experimental, um, social media project that I'm working on. I have been working on for more than a month right now. Yeah, now is um, I, I took in some um, very classic, no, I won't say classic, I would say, um, I mean, traditional uh, African um, dance and doing this very short uh, video for Eastern, for the Eastern stories. And I also shared those on my, uh, um, uh, I'd say on my Twitter profile. 
So yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna, if there is time, we have time, Kendra? Okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go from to my, uh, uh, to my uh, videos. So it's okay, I'm going to show you some videos. I mean, some of the animations, so you guys can see more what I'm talking about. It's tough for West, you know, to people with us, if you don't see anything, it's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, and I, I would love to see the animations. That'd be great. Yeah, this is this are very short, so it's just, let me put it the way people can see it, yeah. Again, this is for a starting story, it's just a few seconds, but. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna put another one. It's um yeah, a very short because again it's, it's um are made for for the instant story, it's just 10 seconds or something like that, or five seconds, I don't know. And also, I'm going to um, show a little bit about the the short film that I was talking about, the unique comic story. So it's, um, it's just three minutes, but I will try to not make it so long. So, yeah. Yeah, 
Yes, in the, that's it. So yeah, it's um, I forget. Yeah, it's, it's until from when I leave Cuba until I come back to Cuba, my my very first um, yeah, trip going back to Cuba. So this is this uh, this is the last one, which is um, that I prayed that I was working last year too. Is is um part of my uh, series? It's called Class Up. It's based based on my very first year um, celebration. Um, so yeah, I was working on some paintings and decided to finish this series with this animation. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing the screen now. Okay, so yeah, I am not an animator, so for me it's like a very experimental process. What I basically do is I try to use the same sheet for other process, so I paint or draw, and on top of that I keep drawing, I keep drawing, keep adding layers and layers of painting and drawing until the paper is yeah useless. So I start over again. So yeah, I don't know if you have any. Any question? Thank you so much, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Are there any questions from the group? Okay. Well, I have a I have a question. Um yeah. so um I I love your progression and um I love your process with the silk screen, the screen printing. Um are you doing any projects like that in the uh, coming up? Are there any projects that you want to, that you're excited to work on soon? Yeah, uh, right now I'm working on, I'm doing another artist book. So um, I'm trying to combine, I'm combining it right now, screen printing with drawing. So instead of using a screen filler and drawing filler as I used before, I'm trying, I'm working with um, paper stencils. So, I mean, that's maybe the basics of a screen printing is, People used to, and back, back in those days, they used to do their layers, so they, they, they cover the screen with uh, stencils. So I'm doing the same, I'm doing the paper stencils. So yeah, once I print some layers of ink, I come up with some lines drawing, and yeah, is um, what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I have, some, I have a video, I don't know, you might say, I have a video, a very short video that show the process. Yeah, that would be great, yeah. Yeah. And I was gonna ask you where you do that, if you have a studio in your home. It's, it's home based a studio, so yeah. yeah. I, I have a studio at home too. It's really nice. <laughs> Just go in there whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. It's um yeah. Also, I mean, prices here in the cities right now is kind of crazy. So yeah, if you can do that from home, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let me start with this one. This is the kind of video that I I put it on my on my Instagram so people can see the process. So yeah, it's the same.
Oh, yes. So I have another one here. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. That's great. Yeah, um, it's pretty experimental right now for me, the screen printing, because at some point I just get tired of, you know, going to my computer and try to do the, you know, the design computer and printing, you know, the, the way people do screen printing right now. So I, I start to try to be more, you know, experimental and enjoy the, the, the beautiful mistakes, you know, that we make on the process. Um, Working with the stencils allow me to really make mistakes, but enjoy it and trying to put into the process and create something out of that. This before, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think that's that's a great way to work. Um, Armstrong, do you have any questions? I, I know Armstrong's one of my students. And so I was okay. thinking um, if there's, uh, if you have any bit of advice for people that are just starting out in art school, what, what do you think that would be? Yeah, this is a very good question. Uh, I would say um, first collaboration with other artists, trying to make things as a group instead of, you know, go to, to a studio and try to things, you know, by yourself, it's, it's not funny. So when you work with other artists, um, you always learn from other people and from the other, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. You have to do it in order to create not just community, but also to grow together as a group. So learn from each other. Um, also, I will say, and, and some people think, say, say to me, no, that's not, but I believe that you have to share your process on social media because social media really, really is a medium to put your voice out there as an artist. Um, I mean, I believe you, you and me, our artists are the same. We are artists because it's the best way we have to communicate with others. And social media is a beautiful place to communicate. So you can put your, you can do your work and put out there so people can see it and reach out to you. So maybe you now after that came out a collaboration, you know, a new way of creating something. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I would say you know overall is collaborate with other people. Try to connect, 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 and collaborate. And don't be afraid of making mistakes because at the end. It's about that, right? Make mistakes, as in growing in this in the in the process. So, yeah. That's great advice. Um, social media. Uh, do you mean you use use Instagram, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I take it as a part of the my as a other you know artist project by beside my my practice. I do my work and try to create to communicate the way I work in the best possible way and put it out there on social media so people can understand, you know, what's going on. What it is like have you the studio store open for everybody. So make it transparent, right? Sometimes people don't understand what's happening or how artists work and they tend to make it like a, you know, I wouldn't say big thing, but like make it clear for people. It's not like, you know, it's just, we are workers. Yes, we come every day to work when we do. And this is what we have. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, but make it visible and you know, transparent is beautiful. Yeah. And social media is the best, I would say, platform for in order to do that. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, and actually there's a question in the chat. Um, what are you most confident in when it comes to your graphic design skills? 
Mm. But what do you mean, graphic design as a graphic designer or graphic design as a creator, graphic creator? I think maybe both. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, so, so, uh, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, small story, one day um, in Cuba, someone asked me for my portfolio and I gave it to that person and I realized that, I mean, that person said to me, oh, but this is your illustration portfolio. He said, oh, wow, look at this. I didn't I never saw that way for me, it was graphic design. So basically for me, it's about drawing, as I said before. So I always drawing, always drawing, even though when I do graphic design, I try to put a lot of, of the you know illustration part of the process, which is a lot of drawing. Um, when I do my graphic art as an artist, you know, um, it's basic drawing. I draw it too. I try. I always try to incorporate drawing in the process. So yeah, I, I would say drawing is is yeah is the is the connection. It's the link between you know my work. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Great. And uh, actually, that. Yeah, I could see that that thread running through all of the work that you're doing. Um, with the the animations and the, the illustration and then the commercial work, um, and that got me thinking: Do you still do murals, like collaborative murals? Yeah, I I, I was I was trying to seeking for the opportunity to do murals. So yeah, it's very it's very tough. I mean, it's hard here because of the weather. So sometimes you have to wait until summertime in order to jump into walls, but yeah, every time I have the opportunity, um, yeah, I do, I always say yes, because it's, it's beautiful, yeah. Nice. Awesome, well, um, I think we're we're kind of at the end. Are um, any last, last bits of advice you have or anything else you wanna talk about? No, just, just thank you for, for having me, um, yeah, to the college, uh, yeah, to Beverly, to you for, yeah, um, oh, Hopefully, uh, the students can enjoy this. Um, you know, talk. Um, yeah, get inspired by it. <laughs> We're more than happy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Yaimel. Yeah,